And you're like, she could. But when you're that pretty, it's like, you could also do that. <laughs> For real, you could also bro. do that. You could also just do that. And uh, I just respect the hustle part of it. Hey, man. Look at your man. Look at your man. My man? Machine gun. Yeah, I see. Machine gun Kelly. <clears throat> Salute to this white man, though. You know, he, he really rebranded himself. <laughs> yeah, Eminem, you know, he gave him the the, 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 the fucking 32 bar of heat, the 120 bars of heat, and he just went straight to rock star vibes and, you know what I'm saying? And he's killing it. And, and now he's, he's and fucking he really Megan is. Fox for some reason. Yep. Which is like, all right, cool. Yeah, man. So, yeah, he's he's doing his thing. <clears throat> These are, yeah, man. Yo, yeah, Pressa. Yeah, salute to Pressa. Salute to Pressa. Uh, you know the is he? Do you think he's still dating Coyle Ray? I couldn't call it though. Why? Why? Why do we even know about that? Like, what Pressa? What Pressa song do you see? Like, just shout out to the this literal strength of media, bro. Like, literally. If you follow academics, you are swayed to like some of the shit that academics just, all right, here's what you see. Yeah. It's not even whether or not he likes it, because he doesn't necessarily fuck with, I think, Coyle Ray. But as far as Pressa, for some reason, he's made some point to kind of just be this, like, Toronto ambassador. And, like, he's kind of just trying... And with all his live streams of having those dudes on and they'll beef sometimes and, like, the top five guy, like, he's just made it a point to say, I'm going to just champion this area. And now, boom, we know about it. But name me one Pressa song. One. I don't know no Pressa songs. I've never heard any songs besides a clip on Academics. Which is no disrespect, but it's it's very – it just makes me think, like, damn, bro. Like, man, I was getting into the whole, uh, you know, posting, posting about the news and, you know, rappers that I know, people that I've sat down with. But, bro, I ain't gonna lie. To do academics' job, this shit is a lot. Like, it, it is a lot. And it's, a, and, and it's a lot in the sense of it's so many decisions to make, bro. It's so many little, like, okay, do I post this one? Do I post that one? Is that too much favoritism? Do I do this or that? And I just think, like, yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah, but. Then you gotta have a kind of a like I don't know when you do this, you kind of have to have a Joe Rogan approach of just like dude, because you're not gonna post everything like because some like when you read the comments you're gonna be like oh why didn't you post that first or that uh, like but dude like I'm at academics is at the point where he's he's already he's learned this shit like he's he's pretty much got it down pat like okay I show favoritism like mm-hmm. I show favoritism mm-hmm. Drake. That's my favorite fucking rapper. So, you got three, three fucking Drake posts. Mm. One, two, three. Literally, the same yeah. shit. About the same Tory Lanez Drake uh, inter- altercation, you know, or uh, basketball, basketball game, which is a funny ass <laughs> clip. And then you also have Tyler, who's saying, didn't he say something about like, oh, like, you know, I was never really on academics, and that kind of hurt me and shit. I could have swore he was on. But now, academics. I mean, after he said that, he's been on. Academics. Now he's now we see today, you know, what, this your man, that's your man, this your man, that's your nigga, huh? Yep, that's your nigga. Wow. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then, oh my god, the fucking top comment, <laughs> kiss my dick, <laughs> classic Tyler. How did he even get that? What the fuck? Ride is clean though. Uh, okay, all right. That, no, that was the, <laughs> that was the next comment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the next comment. Uh, yo, man. Yeah, no. Shout out to Tyler Creator. Uh, he makes great music, dude. You know what I'm saying? That last album was pretty fuego. Maybe a top album of the year, honestly. I, no, not even maybe top. I'll say it's a top album of the year if you actually listen to it. You should check it out. Mm. Or not. It, you know, you know, I, you know, I've heard, I've heard it constantly because YouTube music likes to just fuck you in the ass with like, yeah. literally what it wants you to hear. So if you're listening to Mike, who's I, I really have no idea how like Mike 
I think music. Spotify is better with that. Yeah, Spotify is way better with they'll that. Give you, they'll give you mic, and then you'll go to, like, Alchemist or some shit. Alchemist like, they, they track. Will, yeah, they're not going to just give you, like, title. What the fuck? And, and well, they may. They and may. I think they even twerk it, or twerk it, they tweak it based on how long you listen to a song. Yeah. That shit is fly. Like, Spotify is tuned in. Yeah, their right? algorithm is pretty pretty good. It, it's Because it, it just keeps a vibe going. But, uh... Yeah, for some reason, you listen to certain artists, it'll just gear you right into one artist. It'll just gear you right into Tyler and like, I, oh man. So I've heard, I've heard, I've heard a lot of Tyler music, and uh, I think it's just a similar thing with like how I look at pork. You know, like I don't eat pork, and I haven't since I was just like about a teenager. I saw a por- uh, Pulp Fiction. Samuel L. Jackson say, yeah, yeah, swine is dirty. It's a disgusting animal. He made that that case, and I just, it just, it clicked off to me. Like, okay, yeah, no, that was a good case. He, he He's making a lot of sense. This is an animal that literally eats everything. It eats everything. It eats shit. It eats everything that's around. So yeah, don't eat it. So then it just, yeah. But if pork looks good, you know, you know, if we come around, see some, you know, maybe some good ham. You know, sometimes he gets some good, good, good ham. I didn't, we cool. actually were, encountered some good ham the other. We were at a baby shower. I didn't eat none of that, but and it was actually live pig roasted, so spit roasted. You know, but uh, I didn't eat none of that. But uh, yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll take some pork. So yeah, sometimes some Tyler, I can fuck with it. You know, it got a little vibe, but now nah, that's your man though. He 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 in the whip. Yeah, man. Shout yeah. out to Tyler. Shout out to that uh, Malika Andrews down there. Yeah, Malika man. Andrews. She got herself a deal on ESPN. She replaces Rachel N- Nichols. <clears throat> so yeah, tell me about this. T- tell me about this uh, scoop. They were saying that at least. Well, Rachel Nichols got fired, or she got her show. Her she is out the jump. She got she had a show called The Jump on ESPN, and she would do like the. She would just do NBA news and shit like that. And I'm not sure something happened. A video came out. I think she said something inappropriate. <gasps> and yeah, they pretty much got her out of there. Oh no! So now they got you know, they got a black woman coming in with the multi-million, the multi-year contract extension. So uh, yeah, man. And this be, and this woman's name is Malika Andrews. This woman's name is Malika Andrews. Yeah, that's Malika Andrews. What do you think about here. this? Did you like the jump? Uh, the jump was cool. Like uh, Rachel Nichols was cool. I mean, but uh, you know, this, you know, all all things have to end, man. Uh, freaking what? First take, old boy Max or whatever the fuck. He's out of there. It's just Stephen A's gonna get a new dude, and he straight up said, like, yeah, man, we just the connection was gone. Like, we just had to go our separate ways. I. I'm I'm really not sure what Rachel Nichols actually said. I looked something up here. It says something like, I just want them to go somewhere else. It's in my contract, by the way. This job is in my contract in writing. You are not going to find it from me or taking my thing away, which kind of sounds like she's like, I don't know, like saying that maybe you can't fire me and you have to get rid of somebody else. That's what it kind of sounds like. Um a disparaging video prompts explosive fallout within ESPN. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but so you said the show was good, but they like, objecting, yeah. huh? Let's see. They were objecting to a produ- production edict from executives. So Rachel Nichols, despite comments she made suggesting that the host of NBA Countdown, Mariah Taylor, had gotten that job because she's black, Nichols is white. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm confused. Wait, Nichols is white? Rachel yeah. Nichols is white? She's Yeah, she's white. And she made comments suggesting that the host of NBA Countdown, Mariah Taylor, had gotten that job because she's black. Yes. A pre-show call with Taylor and other commentators, Jalen Rose, Adrian... Wojnarowski and Jay Williams, as well as NBA Countdown staff members, turned acrimonious. And Jimmy Pitaro, ESPN's president, had several phone conversations. And after that, 
It had declined to discipline Nichols despite fury throughout the company over her remark, which she made during a phone conversation after learning that she would not host coverage during the 2020 NBA Finals. So I wish Mariah Taylor all the success. She covers football. She covers basketball. If you need to give her more things to do because you are feeling pressure about your crappy longtime record on diversity, which, by the way, I know personally from the female side of it, like, go for it. Just find it somewhere else. You are not going to find it from me or taking my thing away. That That's like a... Okay, her statement is like very... Um, yeah, it's kind of... That's not... Uh, it's very specific, and it's very... It's not... <sighs> yeah, but basically she's saying if you need to give her more things to do because you're feeling pressure about your crappy long-time record on diversity... Which, by the way, I know personally from the female side of it, go for it. So it's kind of, I don't know. She's kind of hitting the race thing, too. Because, you know, your crappy long-time yeah. record on diversity. That, cause, and then she backs it up with saying, which, by the way, I know personally from the female side, which is indicating you're talking about her. You you know about the diversity troubles, but you're not talking That's about the diversity the troubles woman. of the, f- the of being on a woman exactly. Yeah. You're not talking about something else, so you are alluding about yes, you're talking about race. This was like, I don't even know, man, because her her wording is so specific. It's like, this is this is I don't know I don't want to call it covert racism, but it's like, uh, it's not even that. Because all she's really saying is that the company has had a bad record on hiring black women or black people or she's something to those lines. Because, well, it has to be black women or black people because she's not talking about the, the gender thing. She's talking about race. Like we just said, she's she's talking about knowing about this diversity crap on the female side. She's talking about a different sector. So. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, she's she's kind of shitting on the company for, for actually really being... I mean, we should really look at ESPN to say, well, it's kind of true that this is the case. But if we are going to look at ESPN to say that, which that is the natural follow-up in this conversation, hey, the news literally is that a black woman is now taking over yeah. her show. Well, not her show. She's just the... Re- well, well, it was the, the show that she hosted. Show. It's the replacement show. Now she's going mean? to have her own show. The NBA Today. It's not the jump. NBA Today. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, she basically, now I get my own show, but just in your segment time. Oh, what the fuck? Wait. So, <laughs> wait. So, the jump is still a thing? No. She she now just, well, yeah. She basically, she replaces the the jump. But with her own show, right, 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 right. Just in that, that segment time, though, right, like, right you know, because right. that's how it, that's how it works. So I wonder what Rachel Nichols does now. Is she still with ESPN? You think? Nah. Okay, okay. I don't okay. think she is. Well, listen, man. But yeah. Hey, man, they were gonna come after ESPN because that really. I mean, she's Rachel Nichols just really just opened her mouth about something that is the company's problem, and it didn't necessarily have to be solved with. See. That's the interesting thing about truth. Truth, like, and I got this from Joe Budden. He said, you know, like, you got to ask yourself, and he must have gotten this from somewhere because this is so clever, but he, you must ask yourself a few important questions before you go tell the quote-unquote truth, no matter where it is. You must ask yourself, does it need to be said? And does it need to be said right now? And I need to be the one to say it. Like, if you ask yourself those three questions and they all check off to yes, okay, go ahead. But Rachel Nichols, the white lady who's already on on this ensemble of of white, you know, staff at ESPN, one of the white nah, faces. No, nah, no, nah, she's just the one of the white. But no, nah, there's black people, bro. She's there's there's black people. Black people in the on the. She was with black people on the jump. Like she had how many black women? See, I can't speak on that. I think it was most. I think it was just men. It was her and then men. I believe, if I remember correctly, yeah, it was her and yeah. And if we're gonna just keep it that she's talking about, you know, yeah. diversity, and then she's saying about knowing about it on the female side, which, I mean, you know, she's talking about race. So, it's, so the point is, is 
hey, man, she did not need to be the one to tell that truth. And uh, it looks like, you know, hey, hey, you know, the company's moving on. Hey, thank you for the truth, though. See, that's the thing about the truth. It'll, it'll, it'll make changes. It'll make things happen. But do you need to be the one that is the messenger? Because the messenger does get, like, they say don't shoot the messenger, but the messenger gets shot. Like, that's a fact. And, uh, well, yeah, man. Yeah, man. RIP the jump, I guess. RIP the jump. But salute. But or speaking of speaking, speaking of jumps, um, we've got Champagne Poppy. 